Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Deep Understanding of Research Papers. Today I am going to explain a paper called Exploring Speech Enhancement with Generative Adversarial Networks for Robust Speech Recognition. So this paper is around uh, two years old which was released in 2017 uh, by a uh, couple of people from Google and a uh, guy from uh, University of uh, Southern, uh, University of San Diego, the University of California, San Diego, UCSD. And uh, you can see uh, Rohit Pravakar is one of the uh, one uh, research scientist in Google, uh, which is uh, where he has published a lot of papers on speech recognition and uh, same goes to uh, this author and uh, Chris. And uh, this paper is about how do you uh, create a robust speech recognition model, the robust in the sense the robustness against the noisy data and uh, how do you use the generative adversarial networks to clean this noisy audio into uh, clean data so that it is useful or so that it is uh, it can be used to uh, used to predict the text in the audio basically for speech recognition right. and uh, the in the tutorial we are going to cover uh, the introduction and uh, then we will see the proposed approach and experiments and results and uh, you can ask me a question like why are you doing this uh, or why are you explaining this uh, 2017's paper tutorial um, uh, now uh, because recently I saw one paper called EE GANS which was published in archive recently and uh, in and that paper was uh, had a comparison with FSE GAN and uh, some SE GAN basically this paper and uh, I feel uh, before explaining that paper I think uh, you guys should know about this paper so that is the reason I am explaining this uh, paper and uh, so the overview of the tutorial uh, we are going to cover like what is the idea or what is the motivation of this paper so basically the idea is to use uh, GANs or uh, generative adversarial networks to uh, enhance the audio basically when I say enhance basically cleaning the audio by removing all the uh, other sources basically the noise music and so on right so basically that is done uh, to do uh, speech recognition very efficiently or effectively so if you have a noisy audio if you clean it and you get a clean audio and I think it will be useful for uh, speech recognition to predict the trans transcript well Right. and uh, the idea of this paper is to use the log mill filter bank energies or a spectrogram uh, instead of waveform which was studied in the previous uh, cases called SIGAN and uh, to create uh, which which basically uh, uh, model or the same GAN model which takes the raw audio and predicts uh, raw noisy audio and predicts raw clean audio but instead of using raw audio here they are using uh, filter banks or energy basically the uh, spectrogram uh, which is kind of a image right for example right so sequence of frames with respect to time and uh, the the one important thing could be spectrograms are easy to handle because uh, the uh, number of samples or if you see audio uh, you will get around in one second you will get around 16,000 samples if you are sampling rate is 16 kilohertz but in case of uh, spectrogram you will get uh, around uh, uh, 100 frames in a second if you use 25 millisecond and 10 millisecond uh, window right so 25 millisecond window with 10 millisecond shift you will get around 100 frames which is easy to handle and uh, you can uh, I mean computation is also less and uh, the uh, basically this approach uh, gives you uh, improves the performance of the uh, clean trained ASR system on noisy speech so as I'm saying you have a clean uh, train uh, you have a speech recognition engine trained on clean data but your test data is a noisy data but if you use a GAN enhancer or this this algorithm whatever they are proposing in this paper that will take the noisy audio and clean it and if you feed that into the uh, speech recognition which is trained on clean data the performances will be good but it may not be comparable to uh, something called MTR systems which is nothing but multi-style tra multi style training systems where you compare you train mix you mix the uh, noisy audio and clean audio and train a speech recognition that is a different case so we'll, we'll see all those results and uh, basically they get around 7% relative WR improvement uh, uh, so so let's see the proposed approach uh, the idea of this paper so we will explain this 
uh, this section in uh, detail uh, first we'll understand the whole idea basically the full full uh, architecture then we will see um, uh, what are gans i think everybody will know about gans at least the uh, people who are watching this tutorial and we'll see what is sc gan which was like the um, the same year uh, uh, publi people published i think santiago pascal is the first author in this uh, sc gan paper uh, which was solely written for perceptual uh, quality measures basically the sc gan was a as a is a again a speech enhancement method but it was just uh, it was created to uh, uh, created to clean audio but not uh, with respect to or they, they didn't do any studies uh, on what is the effect of that cleaned audio on the uh, speech recognition systems so that is one thing which was lacking but uh, the this paper is basically doing that study so then we will see this fsc gan which is the proposed approach in this paper then we will see the asr model which was used to train the speech recognition so that the cleaned audio or uh, the the after cleaning what is whatever the audio we get will go as an input to the asr model right so uh, sorry about that so uh, this is the whole idea of the of the paper uh, basically uh, you have uh, the noisy audio here which will go to some feature extractor and you will get this uh, spectrogram uh, basically mel log mel filter bank uh, spectrum and then that will go into GAN based spectral enhancer which is nothing but uh, the GAN uh, which is nothing but the speech enhancement algorithm then it will clean it uh, what you get is the clean audio or clean spectrogram right spectrogram right and this is noisy spectrogram and uh, then that cleaned audio uh, clean spectrogram can go as an input to the asr model and what you get is the transcript which is the speech recognition output so this is the whole idea of this paper um, then what is gan i think many people will be knowing about gans and there are two uh, there are many kinds of gans but let's see what is the difference between the normal gan and conditional gans so in the normal gan the idea is to feed a noisy audio uh, directly into the generator and generator will generate some for example image right let's say you give some noisy vector of 100 dimension uh, sample from a uh, uniform distribution or can be ran uh, or Gaussian distribution something then you uh, what you get is the generator will do some operation on this and transform this Z uh, into uh, any image right let's say for example an image right so basically let's say you get X cap which is equal to uh, the generator which is taking an input Z with parameters let's say theta right so this is a generator then the idea of discriminator is to see this generated image and differentiate uh, uh, and say whether this generated image is from the true distribution uh, p of x or a fake distribution right so the idea of gen discriminator is to tell whether this image which you have generated is a real or fake right so the idea is to make the discriminator uh, the to create an image such that the discriminator gets fooled by that image basically you want to so by doing this what you're trying to do is you're trying to approximate the distribution of the data with distribution of the model right the, the model which is generating an image will have some distribution and that we want to approximate to the original distribution so the discriminator will give us some feedback signal saying this is the fake image this is a real image but we want to make this fake image as close as to real image so that this discriminator gets fooled right and uh, i mean this is just the hypothesis i mean this is this uh, like saying in words but uh, this is how it is trained you have uh, discriminator laws basically uh, d of x comma y and you have this uh, uh, you have this uh, generated image this is the uh, this is the original image and uh, the generator will take z and produce x and that will go as input to the discriminator so you want to play this min max game where the discriminator gets fooled by the generator image and generator has to generate some images which are like realistic right so that is about the uh, uh, this is the conditional gans because you are doing conditioning on x because uh, x is the input here so uh, it the generator uh, basically sorry uh, I just uh, i think messed it up so whatever i explained here this part is just a gan part now we will understand what is conditional gans right before going to these equations so i didn't put specifically the gans equation here but um, 
just uh, assume there are some equations similar to this but not exactly li like this but little bit different so let's understand what is conditional gain first so the conditional gain is similar to normal gain but what happens is the conditional gains the generator not only takes the noisy vector z but also the input image the input could be a, any uh, this c can be any conditioning so the condi you are putting conditioning c it could be uh, some sort of a class label for example let's say you want to generate only the dog images now you can put c uh, i mean dog will have some one or encoding and you can put uh, concatenate z along with c and try to generate dog images and distinguish uh, dog images uh, this is say the same kind of thing and this is the last function you want to minimize right for example right because your z actually takes x along with z basically the concatenation of it and discriminator has to uh, uh, get, uh, discriminator gets should get fo get fooled by the generated images and generator has to generate images which can fool the discriminator right so this is like the min max game right you have this conditional loss here now uh, along with this this uh, this loss we are optimizing in this paper is basically combination of uh, the conditional gain loss along with l1 loss so the l1 loss is nothing but a reconstruction loss which was actually adopted from a paper called pix to pix which was uh, which was uh, written for uh, for the same uh, conditional with the, with the same uh, the idea of conditional gains so uh, so the l1 loss is a, as i said it's a uh, reconstruction loss right you have the original and you have generated you just find the uh, l1 loss of it right and then you just add it to the original uh, gans so that the reconstructions are good right so this is the idea about gans i mean uh, i think many people may be knowing about gans so i don't have to explain in detail so uh, let's understand what is this se gans so the se gans is basically speech enhancement gans they were uh, uh, they were published in 2017 by Ant Santiago Pascual and his team. Uh, so the basically this SEGAN is a 1D version of the pix to pix model uh, which uh, people have uh, published in the same year. So basically the input will be a raw audio of one second for example approximately one second and then uh, this is a noisy audio and this will go through a sequence of one dimensional convolution then at the end you have this uh, uh, eight uh, uh, eight time steps along with 1024 channels and you concatenate a z vector which is also of the same uh, dimension in the channel dimension you will get uh, uh, 8 cross 2048 dimensional matrix that you will use it for the uh, deconversion layer or uh, decoder or uh, yeah, decoder and the decoder will generate a clean audio and then uh, sim other things are like similar to the uh, the uh, FSC GAN which you saw in the uh, sorry the GANs which you saw in the previous paper like previous uh, section uh, where you have uh, the dec the discriminator which will try to uh, tell whether the generated output or enhanced output is same or uh, or is it from original distribution or is it generated right so sim and there's something like this right so this is the idea of SC GAN now the thing which is which uh, these people have observed was this z uh, concatenation of z was not making any sense i mean it was not changing anything so what this fs again people or the current paper uh, did they just ignored this z that way you are making the model deterministic instead of uh, probabilistic because you don't have any randomness in this model you just have the input which goes through some sort of transformation and then you have a decoder which will generate the image but there is no noise in it so that's why it's called deterministic model so this is the fsc gan architecture but if you see here instead of taking raw audio they are taking the spectrogram so the spectrogram is basically uh, log mill filter bank energies uh, you have uh, this images small images of dimension 128 cross 128 uh, then this will go through the generator which is a 2d convolution which are explained here say, there are seven layer encoder and seven layer decoders and uh, the decoder will try to generate the clean image or clean spectrogram corresponding to this noisy spectrogram and then a decoder which will take this clean version and the original and try to predict whether they are same or not right so this is the whole idea of the pix to pix mo model and this is the same as the um, S same for this FSA again also one thing you can observe here there is no z here because they are just ignoring z because z has uh, z was not giving any information or was not changing anything so this made this model deterministic so this you can think of it as a some sort of a auto encoder right convolution auto encoder for example and then discriminator is the same uh, uh, similar thing right 
so this is about the physics again now we'll see what is asr i mean asr i think many people will be knowing about it asr is just the listen attendance spell model which just takes the sequence of frames as input goes through some uh, uh, bidirectional lstms and so on then you have a uh, attention model for example and then you have a decoder which is uh, again a recurrent neural network which just try to predict the words in that uh, in that audio right so as simple as that so that is the whole idea about this uh, fsc gan model as you understood uh, the uh, the model will take the spectrogram as input and generate uh, noisy spectrogram as input and generates the clean spectrogram uh, and that's cleaned version will go as an input to the asr model and then predicts the transcript and for the experiments these people are using wall street journal data standard data for speech recognition uh, it's a clean data then they use this uh, crawl they crawl some noisy stereo audio musical data from uh, from youtube Uh, for additive noise and they uh, that is collected from youtube and for reverberation they use uh, room simulator for uh, adding this re reverberation data into the wall street journal data uh, then so uh, and they use some uh, uh, discrete mixtures from 0 to 30 db snr uh, and so that uh, the noise gets added to the uh, clean data so that we get noisy version of the clean data right now uh, Uh, there are multiple things here uh, uh, before going to the experiment i'll tell you what is this uh, mtr so mtr is basically multi style training so the mtr system basically uh, takes the noisy audio and takes the the uh, clean audio and mixes all of them together and trains a single model right so the idea is when you are training a speech recognition engine you are not only training with clean audio but you are also mixing noise to it so that during testing whatever noisy uh noisy input comes it can handle that noise it can be background noise or it can be some sort of uh fan noise or music uh, so on right so and um, they are just comparing um, uh they also have trained a clean speech recognition so the clean speech recognition is basically trained on just clean audio data so if your audio is clean and if there is no enhancement or uh, there is no enhancer your word error rate is very good uh if you if you have speech recognition which is like completely clean and if you have uh, mtr system the word error rate is little bit bad compared to the clean asr on the clean data right that is still okay i mean it's not not that a big thing now if your data is mtr mtr is basically multi style training uh, basically you have noisy audio in this and if you don't do any enhancement and if you feed that noisy data into a clean speech recognition engine i mean clean uh, speech recognition engine which is trained on clean data your word error rates are very bad like 72 is like the worst word error rate right and if you feed it to mtr system the word error rate are still good because your speech recognition is trained with noisy data so that it is working well on noisy test data right that is a good thing like you can think of this as the upper bound right so this is the best accuracy you can get and whatever you do like all this uh, cleaning and all i think they should get less accuracy so we'll say that now uh, if you use F sc gan which is basically you are enhancing the uh, test data uh, which is corrupted by noise and cleaning it and when you clean it and feed it to a clean speech recognition engine your performance are like the worst i don't know the reason but it is much worse than uh, uh, without doing any any uh, cleaning right so the scan is actually uh, corrupting the audio data even worse and then the speech recognition uh, the clean uh, the asr which is trained on clean data it is giving worse performance on the test data after cleaning this scan is giving the worst performance out of all this and uh, same thing goes with mtr system also the, the whatever cleaning you do with sc gan is like not the good way it's not a good way at all right now if you use fsc gan and clean it your performance suddenly becomes very good right 72 to 30t which is good right and also same thing goes for uh, the uh, mtr system also right so uh, that way if you look at it so if you clean the audio in frequency domain your performance uh, seems to be better than uh, cleaning in the in the uh, time domain right so that is the uh, go, i mean the entire uh, story of this paper and uh, you just see some spectrograms uh, uh, 
uh, if you have noisy data it looks like this and l1 trend basically the l1 reconstruction loss no gan loss or anything you will get completely smooth spectrogram i think this lot of missing information and uh, uh, if you have a clean speech target which is looks like this and this this fsc can actually predict something which is similar to this right these two are kind of similar this is also okay but completely smooth because you are using l1 loss and uh, that's all for this uh, tutorial uh, if you like this tutorial please give a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel please uh, subscribe uh, for more video content thank you